Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by the law offices of Ogle, Elrod, and Brill. Criminal defense, bankruptcy cases, family law cases, workers' comp cases, personal injury law, whatever your legal need might be, it's team to trust. It's the team at OEB, Ogle, Elrod, and Brill. And coming up later today, Daniel, Jacob, and Sterling are going to take your Twitter questions. Those that you've sent in, send some in right now. We're going to put them up. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Source TV. And then I will send you a note telling you when overtime is posted at sportsource.tv, the website. Uh, soon to be followed by Sportsource, the movie, which will be <laughs> going to go after the Force Awakens numbers. But that's today on overtime coming up this afternoon. All right. Uh, we'll show you the standings here in a minute. But this is a segment we call Chuck versus Pearl. Every week during the football season, we ask these guys to make their prediction who wins and by how much. We all decide who we agree with. And then we come back later and say who won or who lost, who came closest. Well, we didn't do it for the opening week, but we did it for the rest of the season. There we go. There are the, uh, the standings, as they were. Jimmy, then me, and then on down the line. Some of these guys weren't here for a lot of the shows. But uh, Chuck won 6-5, to five, and Sterling was 5-6. and six. He has a chance to tie. Mm -hmm. Chuck, you're, you're leading. You won the regular season. I'll let you go first. Uh, but you also have a trophy to show. Oh off. yes, and I want to thank Ron. You got to pick it up uh, and show it. Ron from uh, Blunt County. He got in touch with me and wanted me to have this antique brass ice bucket, and it has been to the Kentucky Derby and it has been to the Masters, and I promise to take very good care of it. I'm sure it's already uh, been used in your but An ice bucket. Uh, that's the new trophy. Uh, Outback Bowl, real quick. One last thing I think you may want to look at is the weather. It's going to be in the 80, 80s all week, sunny. Oof. Friday, the high could only be in the like 70, but a 60% chance of rain. Mm. Slick field, wet conditions could favor the underdog. I still like the Vols by 14. Although the Vols are used to playing on a skating rink at home. Yeah. Anyway, right. <laughs> Vols by 14. Sterling, very quickly, what do you It's going to be very quick. I'm giving it to you. Come on, in the Northwest dance floor. Not so fast to beat Tennessee, baby. It's going down. <laughs> Turn the noon to 2-1. Wildcat 17. Ooh. Vols 38. Oh, All right. <laughs> well, we got a 14 and a 21, guys. I'm going to start down there. We always go this way. I'm going to start down there. Daniel Hood, who are you going with, Chuck or Sterling? I hate to do it, but going with Chuck. No. Daniel Hoods is closer. All right. I will go with Sterling. All right. My man. Jacob, oh, nah. Jacob goes with Sterling. Mike Strange. Chuck. All right. Mike yeah. Strange goes with Chuck. <laughs> I bought 17, so I'll go with Sterling. Okay. Whoa! I got five this week. Are you kidding me? 14 is actually closer. <laughs> 17 to 21. You can stay under? Yeah. yeah. No, I'll still go with Sterling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sugar love. That means I'm kind of, okay, everybody's, it's three and three here, so I get to split this. It's on your job, Yeah, go I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sterling. Woo! I'm gonna go with Sterling. I, I right. think they. I think they blast them. We'll see. Uh, but it should be a uh, an interesting matchup. I, you know, the trick is turnovers. I mean, if Tennessee if Tennessee wants it like they did last year, and I'm worried about. I mean, Tennessee fans sent a lot of stuff to Pat Fitzgerald, the coach up there. I'm guessing he probably has put that on bulletin boards. The entire time, Northwestern comes in with a little chip on their shoulder. What's Tennessee's attitude? Will Tennessee take care of the football? You know, Josh Dobbs has had yep. a lot of fumbles this year, and he's taking care of the ball of passing, but fumbled it quite a bit. One to, one to think about. All right. Thanks to Chuck, Sterling, Daniel, Jacob, Mike, Bob, and you. You know, last week was our highest rated Christmas episode ever. You just continue to support us like nobody else in town. It's unbelievable. We appreciate you. We appreciate you visiting our sponsors. And we will see you right back here next week as we break down the Outback Bowl and Tennessee's matchup with Bruce Pearl and Auburn in basketball. All that next week. See you then. The Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Frame. Shadow boxes come with a lifetime guarantee.